Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm back in the beautiful Peak District National Park this morning. The past few months spent a lot of time in the Lake District, but I'm finally back out filming a video in my home national park. And today we are heading up my absolute favorite peak in the Peak District National Park, Kinder Scout. I've just parked the car down in Barber Booth and I'm now heading towards Upper Booth. And today we are going to be heading up Kinder Low, which is just in front of me here. And we are going to be getting up there via Jacob's Ladder, which is probably one of the most popular routes up to Kinderlow and up to the Kinder Plateau. So I've got a bit of a plan this year with Kinder Scout. I really want to explore a lot of the different cloughs and a lot of the different footpaths leading up to the plateau. So it's almost going to become maybe a little bit of a mini series on the channel. So I'll be showing you guys all the different ways you can get up to the plateau. My original plan today was to head up that clough there, which is called Crowden Clough. And that is actually a grade one scramble. However, it follows a stream and at the top of Crowden Clough, there is a bit of a face which you need to scale up. And with all the rain we've had recently, it's probably gonna be a bit dangerous doing that today because the river levels are gonna be very high. It's a bit of a waterfall. So we're going to save that one for when we have a bit of a drier spell of weather. So 2024 is the year of really exploring Kinder Scout. It's one of my favorite places on the planet, which I know some people may find hard to believe, but I just love this place. It's the place where I grew up. It's the first big hill I ever went up when I was a kid. So it just means a lot to me. Today's route, Jacob's Ladder, like I said, one of the most popular ways to get up to the Kinder Plateau. Uh, once we're up there, we're gonna go to Kinder Low, which is where we'll find one of the three trig points that sits on the Kinder Plateau. And from there, we're gonna head straight across the Southern Edge, through the wool packs, past Crowden Tower, past the top of Crowden Clough, past Grindsbrook Knoll, and I think today we're gonna to go down Grindsbrook Clough, which I don't think I've done for a very long time. I usually come up it because it's a really nice way to get up onto the plateau. And I have already filmed a video, I filmed a few videos actually where I've gone up that way. But today we're gonna to come down it, um, down into Edale, and then, oh yeah, I'll head back over to Barber Booth. Just thought I'd quickly show you that blossom because we are now on the 19th of March, and we've had some really mild weather. We've had a lot of rain, but it has been really mild this week. It was 15 degrees on Sunday, and it finally feels like spring might actually be on the way. It's about 13, 14 degrees, it's a bit overcast, probably gonna get a few showers, but I can see Kinderlow has some sunshine on it at the moment, so fingers crossed we get a few rays on the walk as well. We get a nice little view of where Kinderlow is now, where the sun is shining and Jacob's Ladder just kind of goes up that valley there. It's going to be an awesome route. I'm so gassed to be back out on Kinder. And I'll probably catch up with you now at Kinderlow Trig Point. And yeah, I'll show you all the views as usual. Thanks for watching the video. And I hope you enjoy it.
So I've made it onto the Kinder Plateau, and as you can see, classic Kinder Scout conditions. The clag has unfortunately rolled in, so we haven't got those beautiful views at the moment. I'm sure it will pass, but this happens all the time on Kinder, and it's why it can be quite a dangerous place at times, because one minute it's crystal clear, sunshine, and then the clag can just roll in like that. And yeah, people get lost up here all the time. It's really easy uh, to go wrong because the plateau is so vast and big. But yeah, we made our way up Jacob's Ladder. As you'll have seen, it's a beautiful route up. The views just looking down the Vale of Edel once you get a good way up Jacob's Ladder are just beautiful. It is a little bit of a slog. It's quite a short but steep way up Kinder Scout. And we're now probably just a couple hundred meters from Kinderlo Trig Point. And like I was saying earlier, there are three trig points on Kinder Scout. There's Kinderlo, there's one near the northern edge and near Kinder Downfall. And there's one sort of at the top of Ringing Roger above Grimesbrook. Uh, I think that one is actually called Edel Moor. But yeah, there are three to bag up here. Kinderlo, I believe, is the highest one only just though. And because Kinder Scout is so popular, You've got loads of sort of forks in path, which does become a problem if you haven't got a map or a compass or you haven't got the RS Maps app. Because when the weather gets like this, you can only see about 15, 20 meters ahead of you. Really, really easy to get lost. Highly recommend downloading the RS Maps app if you haven't already. I always download my routes beforehand so I don't need any internet or anything to access it. And it pinpoints your exact location. Should never solely rely on that, but it's a really good uh, thing to have if you're getting into hiking or you do a lot of hiking. And here we are, we can finally see Kinderlo. And obviously we have to go touch the trig point. There we go. 633 meters, Kinderlo trig point. And it would be nice if we had a bit of a view. You don't actually get incredible views from this trig point. When we get over towards the Woolpacks and Crowden Tower, we get beautiful views. Looking over the Vale of Edel, so fingers crossed. This clag moves away because at the moment I think it is appropriate to use the very wise words of I cannot see a flying sausage. It's annoying because I'll always check the mountain weather forecast. However, I'm very fortunate that the house that I live in at the moment has a window upstairs which has a view of the back end of Kinder Low and Kinder Downfall. And I use that as my sort of local weather forecast. If I'm coming out into the Peak District, I'll go up to that window and basically if I can see Kinder Scout, we're in the clear. And this morning I looked out and I didn't see a single bit of clag on top of Kinder. So I thought, oh, we're in for a good day. And yeah, that's obviously mugged me off because I can't see anything now. Although it looks like it's brightening up a bit. I'm very confident it will pass over. And I'm now taking a, the shortcut which takes you over to Crowden Tower. However, we are surrounded by peat bog which is my least favourite thing. It is a lot less trodden than if you just take the footpath that I uh, walked up on to get to the trig point initially. You can walk back down the path and take a left. There's a footpath there that's very well trodden. That's a much sort of safer route, but this shortcut route, if you're handy with your navigation and you've got your GPS and everything, this is a good alternative to take as it just cuts off the corner. But on a day like today, you really do need to be careful with which route you take off Kinder Low to get over here. So yeah. If you want the exact location names, we'll firstly head over to Edale Head, and then onto Pim Chair, which is sort of a big rock formation. And then you hit the Woolpacks. And the Woolpacks is a boulder field. It is awesome. I absolutely love it. And then the next sort of main feature will be uh, Crowden Tower, which again is another big sort of towering rock formation that sits at the top of Crowden Clough, which is the route I was talking about earlier that I did want to uh, actually do today, but a bit too much water, I think, in the river. And then from there, we'll go all the way over to the top of Grindsbrook Clough. We'll miss out Grindsbrook Knoll. So yeah, that's the plan now. I'll probably catch up with you when we're at the top of Grindsbrook Clough. Hopefully, this sunshine that is fighting very hard to get through the cloud will burn off all this rubbish mist. And I'll be able to show you some more views very soon. I'll catch up with you now over at the top of Grindsbrook Clough.
made it to Brian's Brook Club. I've just done the most sort of technical part of the descent. It is a proper knee basher, but it's a lot of fun and it's really fun going up as well. Um, and we're at the fork now in the club, so I've come from that direction up there. And when the sun is shining on this club, it is just absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love Brian's Brook Club one of my favorite ways to get up to kinder i will not be doing a new video of me going up this way in this sort of kinder scout series i'm going to do as i've already filmed a few routes going up there so if you are wanting to watch a video where i do make my way up grindsfoot clough there's plenty to be found on the channel but you can see why i love it and the thing i love the most about these cloughs and kinder scout in general the colors and everything the the wildlife, they change so drastically during the seasons. In the autumn, you get the really burnt orange die back from all of the ferns and bracken. Even in the winter, you have all the green mosses and it looks a bit more sort of rugged. And then coming into the spring season, everything starts to flourish with colour again. And when you get to summer, that's when Kinder Scout comes alive because it is covered in heather and the moors just all light up with this purple glow last summer because we didn't have a really sort of hot spell in the middle of summer this year we had a very early sort of heat wave in june and it never really got going again the heather seemed to just love that because it didn't die back very quickly and yeah it's probably the best i've ever seen it last year it really is just a beautiful part of the peak district this clough goes all the way back down to redale which is a very popular point to start a route up to Kinder Scout, but I'll show you the route all the way down to Weedale. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the last sort of stretch down to Weedale because it's an absolute stunner and the sun is shining, baby. It's absolutely beautiful. down into Edale and I'm going to end the video here as I'm a little bit pressed for time what a beautiful end to the walk coming down Grindsbrook Clough the sun was shining I'm in my t-shirt and it's only March such a beautiful day out on kinder and it was great to see so many other people out enjoying it as well it feels like everyone has got that spring mood even though it's supposed to snow this weekend uh, classic Peak District I would normally go along the Pennine Way back to Upper Booth and then down to Barber Booth where I'm parked. So that's the route I'm going to leave in the description, not this road route, because this road route isn't very safe and it's not very nice either. There's a couple of footpaths that will take you over to Upper Booth and Barber Booth. So I will leave that route in the description. But yeah, what a beautiful day out on Kinder. Loved every second of it. The route so far has come in around 12 and a half kilometers. There's lots of other options if you wanted to extend it or shorten it. 
you could come down Grindslow Knoll, especially if you didn't want to go down Grindsbrook Clough with the technical bit. Grindsbrook Knoll is a bit more of a gentler way back down to Redale. And if you wanted to extend it, when you're at the top of Grindsbrook Clough, you could walk all the way around to Ringing Roger and come down to Redale that way. So you've got a few options. And like I was saying earlier, this is going to be the start of a little bit of a mini series on the channel where I'm going to be doing a few different routes up Kinder. I'm going to explore a lot more of the cloughs and the lesser sort of popular routes up and we will definitely include some wild camping in these routes because I'm itching for a wild camp. I actually met a lad on Grindsbrook Clough today. He said that he'd watched some of my videos and that's why he was going up that route and I just love to see that. I absolutely love it. And that's the whole reason why I do these videos is to try and encourage more people to get out in the peaks, Lake District, Snowdonia, Scotland because for me especially after winter where it's been dark and yeah you wake up in the morning it's dark you go to work it's dark you leave work it's dark and it affects the noggin a little bit but getting out even if it's just for a little walk around your park or just a nice little stroll on the Monsell Trail in the Peak District it is so so good for your headspace so good for the noggin uh, I feel on top of the world right now and I've had a long few days at work and I'm pretty tired. But yeah, this is and will always be my sort of go-to therapy for clearing out the noggin. Great to know that a few of you are watching these videos and using them as inspiration to get out. If I could just do that for one person, it's mission complete. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I am going on and on. Thank you for so much for watching the video. Thanks for all the love, all the likes, all the new subscribers, all the comments. It means the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.